This is Bashan with scooterdoc.proboards.com, and I've about finished up my oil cooler project on my Bashan, and I thought I'd make a quick video showing some of the highlights, and then I'll crank it up, get it warmed up, and we'll see how the cooler works. I took it out for about a 20 minute ride earlier, and it ran great, but uh, the oil didn't get hot enough to uh, really give the oil cooler and the temps sensors a try so we'll try that in just a bit on the front here I used a uh, 20 watt work light from Walmart and it was DC powered but I just hooked it up to the AC off the stator and it works just great very bright I passed a couple police and they didn't give it a second look so apparently it passed the cop test and there's the back of the dashboard it looks like a lot of spaghetti but this scooter is in a real rough state right now because I don't plan on keeping it like this I'm going to tear it down tear the engine down this winter and rebuild it so I didn't want to finalize everything and then tear it down again so this is just basically an experimental stage before I tear it down down on top of the radiator you can see the fan, the cooling fan, that's actuated by a switch up on the handlebar. A little farther down, you can see the bus bar that I hooked up for the AC to hook the various AC lines up to. And there is the oil pump. It's also actuated by a DC switch on the dashboard. Uh, the battery is hung on the front for easy access for all the hookups. We'll come around here. And here is the, if you can see it in the shadows, the ATC uh, fuse board that I've hooked all the circuits onto. And there's the solenoid on the left running rail and of course down along the side is the intake side of the oil cooling system and that comes up into the radiator flows across back into the oil pump down around front underneath the scooter and down into the uh, or the uh, the drain plug. I drilled a hole in the drain plug and put a tap in there and just attach the hose right to it. And on the dashboard here, we'll show you how all this works in a minute. The switch on the right actuates the oil pump. The switch on the left here, if you click it to the left, it turns on the sensor, the temperature sensor on the left side of the scooter, which gives us the oil coming out of the engine hot. And then if we click it to the right, it takes us over to this sensor, which gives us the temperature after it's run through the system and been cooled. And both of the sensors are hooked up to the dial on one switch. And then we've got a voltmeter, which tells us quite a bit about uh, how much juice the uh, oil pump and the fan draw. All right. Well, I'll just start it up here and show you that it runs. We'll show you the headlight too. This is the kill switch here. Just turn it down to take the ground off of the coil and then hit the start button and it should crank right up. And 
you can see the headlights burning off of the AC. And we've got a tail light and the brake lights work also. Now we'll turn on the switch for the oil pump, although the oil's not warmed up yet. You should be able to see some oil move through the filter. You can see it bubbling through there. And then when the temperature sensors show hot enough, we can turn on the fan with this switch right here and the fan comes right on. Okay, well I'm going to get it up on the lift and we're going to get the oil nice and warmed up and we'll be able to check and see if the temperature sensors can discern a difference between the hot oil coming out of the engine and the cooler oil as it goes through after it goes through the cooling system.